Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial video from the website Genie. And in this video, we're going to look at how to update your WooCommerce cart page automatically without clicking the update cart button. So if you find, if you go to e-commerce sites pretty frequently, you'd find that the uh, once you make changes to the product, or maybe if you want, if you make changes to the quantity of the product, or if there is anything that involves updating the price, that happens automatically on most of the professional websites but uh, if you see the default WooCommerce version so if you uh, check out any product so if you click on a product and add that to cart and if you view the cart so this is the cart page and uh, so we have a price of 150 and the quantity is 1 now if you increase the quantity to 2 the price won't be automatically updated so you need to click on update cart and then WooCommerce calculates the price and updates uh, the total but uh, so we go we're going to use a plugin for this to automatically update the cart so in order to install a plugin we need to go back to our dashboard and to our plugin section and click on add new so this is a free plugin that we'll use and uh, so it is also a very renowned and widely used plugin so the plug the name of the plugin is ajax auto update So this is the plugin that we want to install. This is Ajax Auto uh, Cart Auto Update for WooCommerce. So this has more than 100 five star ratings, 10,000 plus active installations, and it is compatible with my version of WordPress. We can install that. So we'll click on install now. So by the way, guys, if you're installing a plugin that you are not sure about, so you need you need you can take a backup of your website uh, so that even if something goes wrong, you can have the previous website back again. So we have installed it so we'll activate the plugin so the best part about this plugin is that it not it not only you know like automatically updates the cart but at the same time it would also get rid of this update cart button so it would automatically update and it won't see this update cart button so we go into the settings so this is the update delay so this is thousand milliseconds so you can reduce that and uh, so you can change the minimum product quantity on cart page from 0 to 1 if unchecked 0 quantity is valid and such products are removed on cart page so you can turn on or off this kind of things this options and you can enable this plugin at the checkout page only if the checkout page has a regular cart page embedded so you can create a checkout page and you can embed uh, the the checkout short code on that page but uh, we will use the default WooCommerce checkout page so we won't be using all these things so we'll save the changes and we'll reload this page again so as you can see uh, now we do not have the update card button and uh, so if we increase the quantity to 3 so there's a thousand milliseconds of buffer time and as you can see the cart is automatically updated so the so it gets rid, it gets rid of the update cart button and at the same time it automatically updates the cart so you can try it out with uh, another product as well so if you go to actually we actually messed up the site guys so we were doing another video and so we have you know made the link colors as white so that is why it's a bit difficult to see but then we'll add another product and see what that does so we'll add the blue t-shirt and we'll again view the cart and so currently we have uh, two products so we'll increase the quantity of the second product and so now it updates the cart automatically and it calculates both the product prices so if you increase the product uh, quantity of the first one as well it automatically updates that so guys that is how you would auto update the WooCommerce cart page so I think this is this looks much more professional because uh, in most of the websites you won't see that there's an update cart button and uh, you increase the quantity or decrease the quantity and you have to manually you know update the cart so this plugin works wonders so you can use that uh, on your WooCommerce checkout page or I mean the cart page this is the cart page so guys uh, so there's one more thing that I would like to show you that is uh, that the plugin is completely compatible with your mobile view as well so we'll first uh, inspect the page and uh, use a mobile view so as you can see this is our mobile view and uh, once we add a product to cart we'll see how the plugin uh, 
you know does once it's a mobile view so we'll add that to cart and uh, once the product has been added to cart we'll view the cart so as you can see uh, currently here we have three products so the earlier two products were you know added so this is the third product that we have added uh, the shoe and as you can see here also you do not have any update card button so this is a cross sell and so this is the product this is the uh, you know proceed to checkout button but here as you can see we do not have any update to update card button and again if we uh, increase or decrease the product quantity so as you all know that in uh, mobile views WooCommerce won't give you the plus minus or the increment buttons so there's a plugin for doing that but we'll check it out in another video so in this video currently we'll just manually increase uh, the quantity as you can see again it automatically updates the product uh, card page so you, you won't see uh, update card button so we'll increase this as well and we'll see what happens so as you can see it's again automatically updating and uh, guys if you want to reduce this buffer time you can just go to the settings and in the thousand millisecond tab you can just put in a lower uh, value like 500 or something like that and that would reduce this uh, buffer time so guys that is how it would look on the uh, mobile version so as you can see the plugin is completely compatible with uh, both uh, you know mobiles and uh, tablet views and uh, by the way guys so i'll show you something else so if you uh, you know if you go to men so uh, this channel is dedicated to uh, wordpress website development no coding websites and at the same time digital marketing uh, different kinds of facebook ads uh, these kind of videos so if you would like to get in uh, you know sync with all these kind of developments so you can subscribe to the channel and uh, so you would be updated of all the upcoming videos and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you are constantly updated of all the upcoming videos so uh, the guy the thing that i was about to show you was the sport shoe so these are kind of videos that we do so we did a video on variable products so this is how you can add a variable product to your wordpress website so this is not only variable product and so you can use variable services as well so you can use uh, services like professional services like doctors appointments or hotel bookings so you can check out the channel for all those kind of videos so uh, thank you guys the main point of this video was uh, how to update the uh, woocommerce card page automatically and we have done that so i hope you have liked the video and if you have please consider giving this page uh, giving this video a like and uh, you know, subscribing to the channel and spreading the word by sharing this video Thank you so much guys and see you again in the next WordPress tutorial video.